and a half million Canadians have been diagnosed with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, a condition that some patients describe as like breathing air through a straw. But Robart's researchers are gaining a better picture of this debilitating lung disease. 74-year-old Gord Rice lives with COPD. Just about anything I do that involves any type of physical activity, even going upstairs, I have to pause. Gord is taking part in clinical trials to help Robart's researchers better map out lung damage. COPD encompasses chronic bronchitis and emphysema. It's a fourth largest killer worldwide, affecting some 600 million people. Conventional COPD diagnosis uses spirometry as a frontline test for lung capacity. It's useful, but there's a lot going on in damaged lungs. But our tool digs deeper right into the lungs and tells you what's going on in specific regions of the lung in terms of how much tissue destruction and how much airway obstruction there is. Robart's researchers, doctors Roya Edamon Rezai and Grace Paraga, are testing patients by giving them helium, then taking an MRI of their lungs. Here's a traditional chest x-ray of someone with COPD. There is nothing that tells me that this patient has COPD. Here's the next step in conventional diagnosis, a CT scan. Patients with COPD are supposed to have large volume lungs and this patient doesn't and yet they're symptomatic. But watch what happens in an MRI when helium reaches the lungs. Everywhere that you see the, uh, the high signal or the white color, if you want, this is the gas reaching the lung. And every area or focus that you see the dark uh, defects, these are the areas where the air is not reaching. This is the information that we didn't used to get from our traditional x-rays and CTs until now. The goal of the research, tailor-made treatment for people like Gord. For individual patients, what we're hoping is that when we know more about them, it's going to change the way they're treated specifically. Gord hopes what he's doing will help other COPD patients. Folks like myself in the past have uh, participated in studies like this and obviously what they've learned from that, I'm benefiting, benefiting from it right now. And uh, so I guess you might say it's my turn to participate in a study. And results of the initial Robert study will be published next month in the European Radiology Journal.